Like two digit multiplication, let us now see how to simplify the process of multiplying three digit numbers. We very well understand that multiplication of three digit numbers is a lengthy procedure and it takes a lot of time. For example, let's say we have to multiply 386 with 724. Now in the regular procedure, we proceed as follows. 4 into 6, 24. So 2 gets carried forward. 4 into 8, 32 and 2 is 34. So 4 in the answer and 3 gets carried forward. Then 4 into 3, 12. 12 plus 3, 15. Then we put an into mark here and proceed with the multiplication of 2. So 2 into 6 is 12. So 1 gets carried forward. 2 into 8 is 16. 16 plus 1, 17. Again 1 gets carried forward. 2 into 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Now with the last step here, we take 2 into marks. That means displacement by 2 digits. And then we say 7 into 6, 42. So 4 gets carried forward. 7 into 8 is 56. 56 plus 4 is 60. So 0 in the answer and now 6 is carried forward. Last step is 7 into 3, 21. 21 plus 6, 27. Now finally, when we add all these three results, we get the required answer. So 4 and here we have 6. 5 and 7 is 12 and 2 is 14. So 1 is carry. 1 and 1, 2 and 7 is 9. 7 and 2. So the final answer here is 279464. That means 2 lakhs 79,464. So as you can see here, the whole process is very lengthy and it takes a lot of time. Why? Because we have a lot of writing part here. So let's see how can we multiply these numbers without writing all these steps and directly get the required answer. Now as we have seen, in case of two digit multiplication, we have three steps. That is, first step is to multiply unit spaces, second step cross multiplication and third step is multiplication of ten spaces. So here also, in case of multiplication of three digit numbers, that is 386 into 724, we can get the answer only by multiplying different digits. And here we have five different steps. So let us follow those steps and see how to get the answer for three digit multiplications. The first step here would be to multiply the unit spaces. That is same as what we have done in case of two digit multiplication. So in the first step, we multiply both the unit spaces. 4 into 6, 24. So 4 is in the answer and 2 gets carried forward. The second step is to cross multiply unit spaces with tens places. So 8 into 4, 32. 2 into 6, 12. 32 plus 12 is 44. 44 and 2 is the carry. So 44 plus 2 is 46. So we take 6 in the answer and now 4 gets carried forward. So as you can see, the first two steps are quite similar to what we do in case of two digit multiplication. The first step is unit space multiplication. Second step is cross multiplication of unit space and tens place. And now comes the third step, which is the most important one. Here, we multiply units places with hundreds places of opposite numbers and the tens places and add all these three products. So units places have to be multiplied with hundreds places. That's like again a cross multiplication of units and hundreds places. And at the same time, we also have to multiply the tens places. So 3 into 4 is 12. 7 into 6 is 42. 12 plus 42 is 54. And 8 into 2 is 16. 54 plus 16 is 70. So multiplication in the third step gives us 70 as the answer. We multiply hundreds place with unit spaces of opposite numbers. 3 into 4, 12. 6 into 7, 42. 42 plus 12 is 54. And multiplication of 10 spaces. That is 8 into 2, 16. 54 plus 16 is 70. 70 and we know that 4 is the carry forward. So 70 plus 4, 74. So we take 4 in the answer and now 7 gets carried forward. So that is how we finish the third step of multiplication. Now in the fourth step, we have to cross multiply the tens places with hundreds places. So as you can observe, fourth step is similar to step number two. Whatever we had done for these two columns in step two should now be done for these two columns in step four. That is cross multiplication of tens places with hundreds places. So three into two is six and seven into eight is 56. Six plus 56 is 62. And 7 is the carry. 62 plus 7 is 69. So we get 9 in the answer and now 6 is carried forward. And now the last step here is multiplication of hundreds places. That is 3 and 7. 3 into 7 is 21. 21 and 6 is the carry. 21 plus 6 is 27. 
So we can say that the final answer here is 279464. That is 2,79,464. And if you compare with the regular procedure, we have got the same answer. 2,79,464. But the difference here is we need not write all these intermediate steps. So simply follow this five-step procedure whenever we have to multiply three-digit numbers. Let me repeat the procedure here. The first step is multiplication of units places that is 6 into 4 24 so we write 4 in the answer and 2 is carried forward second step is cross multiplication of units place with tens place so 8 into 4 and 6 into 2 8 into 4 32 6 into 2 12 32 plus 12 is 44 44 and 2 is the carry 44 plus 2 would be 46 so we write 6 in the answer and 4 gets carried forward so the first two steps are similar to the two digit multiplication. The third step is the most important one. Here we cross multiply units places with hundreds places and we also multiply the tens places. So 3 into 4, 12. 6 into 7, 42. 12 plus 42 is 54. And multiplication of tens places, 8 into 2, 16. So 54 was a cross multiplication and 16 here is the tens multiplication. So 54 and 16 is 70. 70 and 4 was the carry. 70 plus 4 is 74. So we now take 4 in the answer and 7 gets carried forward. So that's the third step. Now the fourth step is similar to the second step. Cross multiplication of tens places and hundreds places. That is 3 into 2 and 8 into 7. 3 into 2, 6. 8 into 7, 56. 56 plus 6 is 62. 62 and 7 is the carry. So 62 plus 7 gives us 69. So we take 9 in the answer and 6 is carried forward. And now the last step here is multiplication of hundreds places. That is 3 into 7, 21. 21 and 6 is the carry which gives us 27. So this is how we can obtain 3 digit multiplication in 5 simple steps. So we can understand these steps as follows. The first step here is multiplication of unit spaces. So that's like a vertical multiplication. Second step here is cross multiplication of unit spaces with tens places. Third step is cross multiplication of unit spaces with hundreds places and multiplication of tens places. The fourth step is again a cross multiplication of tens places and hundreds places. And the last fifth step here is multiplication of hundreds places. So this is how we can multiply three digit numbers. So if we compare with two digit method, there we had three steps, i, x, i. And here in three digit multiplication, we have five steps. That's like i, x, star, x, i. So that's only a pattern which will help you to understand the procedure better. So if you practice well on this and get comfortable, then multiplying three digit numbers will become a very simple task. Let us take one more example to understand this procedure. Let's say we have to multiply the numbers 587 and 923. So how can we multiply these two numbers following this pattern? As we know the first step is multiplication of unit spaces. That's the first step. 7 into 3, 21. So we take 1 in the answer and 2 gets carried forward. Remember friends, in each step we take only one digit in the answer and the other part gets carried forward till we obtain the last step. Now the second step is cross multiplication of unit spaces with tens places. So 8 should be multiplied with 3 and 7 has to be multiplied with 2. 8 into 3, 24. 7 into 2, 14. 24 plus 14 is 38. 38 and 2 is the carry. 38 plus 2 is 40. So we take 0 in the answer and 4 now gets carried forward. The third step here is star. Star is nothing but cross multiplication of units with hundreds and multiplication of 10 space. So 5 into 3, 15. 9 into 7, 63. 15 plus 63 is 78. And 8 into 2 is 16. 78 plus 16 is 94. So 94 is the result for star. And 4 is the carry. 94 plus 4 is 98. So we take 8 in the answer and now 9 gets carried forward. Fourth step is again cross multiplication. And here we have to cross multiply tens places with hundreds places. That is 5 should be multiplied with 2 and 8 has to be multiplied with 9. 5 into 2, 10. 8 into 9, 72. 10 plus 72 is 82. So cross multiplication gives 82 but 9 is the carry. 82 plus 9 is 91. So we now take 1 in the answer and again 9 is the carry forward. And the last step here is multiplication of hundreds places. That is 5 into 9, 45. 
45 plus 9 which is the carry gives us 54. So 54 can be taken finally in the last step. So the multiplication of 587 and 923 gives the answer 541801. So friends, simply remember this pattern and apply it for three digit multiplications. After learning the five step procedure for three digit multiplication, it's your turn now to get the answer for this question. And let me tell you, the clock has already started. Let us see what is the answer for this question. As we have discussed earlier, the first step here is multiplication of units places. So 3 into 9 is 27. So 7 is in the answer and 2 gets carried forward. Second step is cross multiplication of units and tens places. 7 into 9 63. 2 into 3 is 6. 63 plus 6 69. 69 plus 2 carry will give you 71. So 1 in the answer and now 7 gets carried forward. The third step is cross multiplication of units places with hundreds places and multiplication of tens places. 4 into 9, 36. 6 into 3, 18. And 7 into 2 is 14. So 36 plus 18 is 54. 54 plus 14 is 68. 68 and 7 is the carry here. So 68 plus 7 gives 75. So 5 is in the answer and again 7 is the carry. The fourth step is cross multiplication of tens and hundreds places. So 4 into 2, 8, 6 into 7, 42. 8 plus 42 is 50. 50 and 7 is the carry. So 57. Again, we get 7 in the answer. And now 5 is the carry forward. And the last step here is multiplication of hundreds places. That is 4 into 6, 24. 24 plus 5 is 29. So the final answer here is 2 lakhs. 97,517. I hope you all have got it right. Practice well on this technique so that multiplication of three digit numbers becomes a simple job.